Okay, the next formula we're going to discuss is the tailstock offset. Now, uh, with the tailstock offset, remember that's us being able to uh, take, let's take the math. How do we apply it? So we'll, we'll figure out the formula in a second, but the whole purpose of solving this is so that we know how, how far away or how close to pull uh, or how much to pull that upper casting. We, we're trying to solve an actual movement. So we'll take a, a dial indicator or a plunge indicator. We'll put it on the side of the upper casting. We'll loosen the four bolts and then we'll push the upper casting away. And that uh, plunge indicator, okay, or sorry, that dial indicator will, it will move, right? It, so you can, you can move that tail stock, right? You can, using the Allen key, right? You can move that tail stock away and watch on that indicator, that plunge indicator, if you solve 20 thou movement, right? If that's what our solution is, then you can move that upper tail stock 20 thou and then lock it back up again and take your cut. So that's what we're trying to solve. How much do I move the tail stock? Okay, so we need to know a couple of things. Uh, we need to know, uh, oh, let's write out the formula first. So tail stock offset, Will hereby be known as TO. Okay, tail stock offset. Here's our formula tail stock offset is equal to uh, taper per foot times LOW divided by 24. Taper per foot times length of work. Now, in taper per foot, its length of taper. In setting the tailstock offset, we need to know how long the work is. Even if the taper is only that long, we need to know how long the work is. Because on a tailstock offset, when, when I have my parts sitting between centers, right, uh, and I adjust the tailstock away from me, right, the whole bar, that whole piece of bar stock pivots, right? So I need to know how long that bar is. That's part of my formula. So uh, let's let's imagine then uh, we solve the taper per foot. We'll say it's a four inch taper over, uh, that's a big taper per foot. Let's say it's a 1.5 inch taper per foot. Uh, we also need to know how long is the work. So my part continues, right? My part continues on. Uh, let's say that that, measurement whoops let's say that that measurement of the whole length of the part is 36 inches long that's how long my bar stock is okay so now i can uh figure out my tail stock offset my taper per foot is 1.5 times a 36 inch long piece of work uh, divided by 24. Tail stock offset is very, very simple to solve, guys. We literally, we just need two pieces of information. Taper per foot is going to be given to you, or uh, you have to solve it based on big diameter minus little diameter divided by the length of the taper times 12. As soon as you get that number, you plug it in there, okay? Then you multiply that by the length of the work. Well, you can't do much without knowing that. That's always given to you. Our almost almost always given to you unless you got to go over and physically measure it with a tape measure all right so now we simply just solve it guys 1.5 times 36 divide by 24 our tail stock offset is equal to 2.25 inches now here's something you need to uh, understand that the the, the, the uh, real part of this Okay, what, what we've solved here is we've solved how far we have to push away or pull towards us the upper casting of that tail stock. This is a big number, 2.25 inches. Think about that, right? So I need to move my tail stock, the upper casting, 2.25 inches. So sometimes what we need to do is we need to make sure that before we do a setup, before we start loosening bolts and figuring, you know, trying to do the physical setup, let's do our math first. Uh, let's make sure that before we do all of the work in setting up for this taper, that we can actually move the tailstock the amount of uh, the distance that um, that we solve. 
Uh, if not, then we have to find another way to cut the taper. So we're talking about from the practical side of this, guys. Doing the math, don't worry about that. Uh, in in, in uh, our theory classes, these numbers are arbitrary. We can do whatever we want, okay? But when you go to apply this on the shop floor, right, and you need to actually figure out, you know, how much do I have to move that tailstock on my manual lathe so that I can create the taper that's on the print, um, do the math first. And then if you're not sure, oh, I wonder if my tailstock will even move that far. Uh, you know, you're you're not the most experienced person in the shop. So ask the guy that hired you or the guy that's your lead hand. And he may not even know, right? So ask questions, right? It's it's one thing to solve it in class, in theory. It's another thing to apply it, right? So just keep that in mind. So tailstock offset, it's a pretty simple formula, right? I will tell you guys, these three formulas, uh, you will need to know them, okay? So get them in your head, right? Um, taper per foot, big D minus little d, divided by length of taper times 12. Tailstock offset is taper per foot times length of work, divided by 24. And then our last formula, okay? Our last formula is for setting up our compound rest.